What's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about pause reps and how you can use these to massively increase your pull-up strength without necessarily having to do more repetitions or add weight on. Now, pause reps are pretty much exactly what they sound like. They're basically just repetitions where you take a pause somewhere within a movement. The most typical way of doing these for pull-ups and the way that I prefer to do it is a two-second pause at the top of the pull-up where your chin is above the bar. In climbing, there's also a version of these called a Frenchie where you basically take a pause at different intervals of the pull-up. So you might do two seconds halfway through the pull-up, two seconds three quarters of the way through the pull-up, and then two seconds at the top of the pull-up, and that's one repetition of a Frenchie. You can definitely do these, and I would recommend you trying these out sometime, but I think it's like a little overly complicated, and I don't think there's really any benefit of doing that over just doing a regular pause rep. So the benefits of doing a pause rep is that it increases your time under tension while doing a particular movement. In general, you get stronger by performing exercises with progressive overload. This is basically just a fancier way of saying that over time you slowly make things harder so that your muscles have to adapt to it and hence get stronger. Looking at another exercise, let's take bench press for an example. Ways that you might do progressive overload is you could add weight, you could do more sets, or you can do more repetitions per set. Ignoring adding weight, doing more reps and doing more sets is basically just giving your muscles more time to be performing the bench press exercise, which is just the time under tension of the load of the bench press. But another way to increase your time under tension is just take longer doing a single repetition. This is actually why when you're first learning the pull-up, people tell you to do negatives, which I have my own qualms about, and if you want to hear about that, you can watch that up here. But if you're taking 5 to 10 seconds to lower yourself in a pull-up, you're essentially holding your body weight worth of tension in the pull-up position for like a pretty decent amount of time. Another benefit, which I don't think is as top of mind, but it's definitely there, is it's really good for your core. So when you're holding yourself in the pause position of a pull-up, you have no choice but to keep tension in your body. You can't really hold the two seconds that well if you're swinging around, if your body's moving all over the place. Another benefit, which is really specific to climbing at OCR, is that it will naturally improve your ability to hold a locked off position. So this is gonna be really good if you're doing a long static reach in climbing, or if you're doing an obstacle like the pegboard. In fact, this is probably the number one exercise that I would recommend to anyone who's trying to learn to do the pegboard. These are also actually really amazing if you're trying to learn to do your first pull up. You would do these with a band, and you would hold for you know two, three seconds, whatever at the top, and it's gonna come combine the benefits of doing banded pull-ups with some of the benefits of negative pull-ups because you are holding that tension for some amount of time. So pause reps are a really strength-based exercise, which means that you don't need to do a whole lot of them to get a good benefit out. I typically stick in the three to five rep range when I'm doing these, and when I do have them programmed into my workouts, I'm only doing them once a week. So if you're gonna try these out, I would start with like a three by five protocol and stick with an easier version than you might think. It's always way better to start with an easier version and make your workout harder throughout the workout than to start off way too hard and just fry yourself out for the remainder of your workout. Once you can do a five by five with a particular progression, whether it's banded or body weight or with weight, then you can increase to a harder progression. So if you can do five by five at body weight with like a two second hold at the top, then maybe the next time you do a three by three or a four by three with like an additional five or 10 pounds extra. You can also play around with holding for more time, but I wouldn't go too crazy on this. Um, you definitely don't need to hold for like more than five seconds. That'd be freaking crazy. But I found at least for me that a two second pause is like kind of ideal. So that's all I got for today. If you want to learn about another training protocol that you can combine with this in your training to really maximize your pull-ups, you can check out this video right over here.